23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. California's 21st Congressional District is once again a competitive race between incumbent TJ Cox and David Valadeo. Right now, challenger David Valadeo has about three, a nearly three point lead over Representative Cox. About 3,000 votes separate the two. Now, if you remember back in 2018, these two men fought for the same seat. It ended up being one of the closest races in the country with Cox winning by just over 800 votes. Remember, all of these right now are unofficial numbers. Turning now to the race for the 23rd Congressional District. That includes Congressman Kevin McCarthy, who's seeking his eighth term in the 23rd District of the Congressional House of Representatives. With 100% of precincts reporting, McCarthy has 58% of the votes, and Kim Mangon has 42% of the votes. McCarthy also posted to Twitter this morning declaring victory in his bid for re-election. Kim Mangon sent a statement to 23ABC saying, quote, while we recognize the challenge ahead, we should wait for all of the votes to to be counted before making a judgment. I would like to thank all of our volunteers and supporters and faith in our campaign and for making this a competitive campaign that fought for the issues most important to our region. Now, of course, everyone is watching the race for the presidency. All eyes on the Electoral College. The latest projections from the Associated Press showing Biden winning Michigan and 16 more electoral votes. Right now, if you take a look at this graph on our website, you can see that Biden is leading with 264 electoral votes. President Trump has 214. Of course, still more votes to count. You can continue to follow along online at turn to 23.com. And we are tracking some major cooler weather heading our way. Not quite tomorrow, though. Still a warm day for our Thursday. We can see 79 in Bakersfield, 77 the high in Arvin, 85 at Jawbone Canyon. Some clouds in the sky for our Thursday, but that's about it. Friday, we see that cooler air starting to swing through, taking a look at this big upper level trough. By the time we get to 5 p.m., we're definitely under the influence of that. We're going to see some breezy winds as that cooler air moves in and just lots of changes in the forecast. So let's go through the seven day right now. 67 breezy for our Friday, mostly cloudy skies. Slight chance for a shower. Better chance is going to be later in the day. Even better chances Saturday and Sunday. It is possible we see a little bit of rain this weekend in the valley. 57 Saturday and Sunday, and then things get a little bit warmer, but still below average as we head toward the end of the week. Very active in the mountains as well. Windy through the weekend, and we're also going to be seeing not only the chance for a little bit of rain showers, but even some mountain snow with snow levels dropping to about 4,000 to even 3,500 feet through the weekend. Very chilly temperatures and again more sunshine a little bit nicer at the end of the forecast. That's your latest news and weather update for the latest news anytime. Be sure to head to our website turn to 23.com.